All this filament, an empty printer, let's print something. It's Filament Friday. For this week's project, I wanted something to hold small pieces of wood when I use my chop saw. I don't want to cut my fingers, and on small pieces like that, pushing against them and holding in place, I could easily slip and get cut. So I opened Tinkercad and I created this. This goes on the end of a dowel rod and it's got a little clip on the end to hold the wood. And let me show you, I'll ungroup it and show you the pieces that were used to make it. A few cylinders, triangles, and blocks, some with holes, and then a hole through the bottom for a screw. So when I group that all together, I have the end piece for a hold down unit. So that's the complete unit, and I call it the chop saw stick, once it's got the doll rod in place. So I just downloaded for 3D printing as a .stl file, and I was ready to import it into XYZWare. So I loaded the .stl file into XYZWare from Mac, and just did a quick look around. It looked pretty good. I didn't see any gaps or holes or anything that the slicer might have a problem with. So then I clicked on export, and I chose large 50% fill, a 0.4 layer height, a thick shells, and a fast speed so this thing would print pretty quick. And then the slicing began. So after the slicing was done I took a look at it and everything looked as expected. So now I clicked on the info box to verify things. 0.4 layer height, large density, thick shells, fast speed, and it showed 1 hour and 13 minutes to print and 9 meters of plastic. So this was going to print pretty quick and not use a lot of plastic, so that's cool. So I click print and send it off to the printer. Now it looked pretty good, everything stuck, but I just stuck the plastic putty knife and it kind of broke away in my hand and then the putty knife cleaned it off. I didn't put a lot of glue on this one and it's still printed really really well. So now I just needed to cut the handle from a dowel rod. So I just used my jigsaw to cut it. Very very handy tool. I use it all the time. So this only took a few seconds. So now I just needed to assemble it. I had the dowel rod, the end cap, and it fit over nicely. Then I just pushed on a little black screw and screwed it in place. I actually used a drywall screw here, but just about any screw would work. So once I tightened it up, the tool was ready to use. So now the moment of truth. Time to test it. So I put a small block of wood. I lined up the edge against the block of wood so I could push it back and hold it down. Turned on my saw and cut the wood. It never budged and held in place. So it worked perfectly. I'm really happy the way this turned out. I'm going to keep this around for quite a while. So that's it for this week's Filament Friday. This was a little different than normal. I didn't just pull something off a of Thingiverse. I actually designed it. And I thought this was a fun but practical little 3D print. And I certainly don't want to cut my fingers, so this is very, very handy. The idea for doing something a little different really came from a subscriber. Renee Solis suggested that I maybe cover more detail on how to use Tinkercad or design something and then build it. And I thought, you know, that really wasn't what Film of Friday was originally about, but then as I thought about it more, why not? I, I, I love doing that. I love designing something like this and then printing it out and making it work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't always have time to make it work for Film of Friday, but where I can, I'm going to try and do more of this. So if you have an idea for a project, that isn't too difficult or something you want to see designed that you can't find on Thingiverse, maybe shoot that in the comments below. Now if you want more detail on how I designed this in Tinkercad, 
mention that in the comments below. I've thought about doing a series of videos on using Tinkercad on how to design 3D products. I've been using it for over a year now and I've learned quite a few tricks and I love it. It's just great software. It really is easy to use. In fact, I cover Tinkercad in my book, which is now released. It made it through Kickstarter and I've got the books in so the Kickstarter people who supported me will be getting their books soon. If you want it, it's it'll be on Amazon pretty soon. Uh, I'll put a link to it. And there's both a black and white interior and a color interior. So save a little money because with black and white because it's cheaper to print. So that's it for this week. If you like this project, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you want to support my channel, I really would appreciate it. There's a link up here to my Patreon account. And I am working on some extra material for that, so stay tuned. So that's it for this week. I'll see you next time.